Hey, Ryan with RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the MetMass Multifamily Market Update. And take a look here. Nothing new this week and one under agreement and one sold. The one that went under agreement has been on the market for 514 days. It's like a teardown slash full rehab slash single family. It's pretty uh, an interesting property. And I bet you it went for less than 324.9 or 329.9 considering how long it's been on the market. And what sold was 392 Salem Street, so three family for 440. It was on the market for 460, and it was a short sale, I think. Yes. It was a short sale and sold for 440, and uh, that's pretty good for a three family. I don't, there's one parking spot, and it could be all rentals, but. Uh, I think you're getting 1250, 1350, and probably similar 1350. Um, so 2700, 3950, and let's see if you're putting down. If you're an investor, you're getting six percent, and your insurance is 1500. So if you're putting down 25%, you're going to make 1200 bucks a month minus uh, miscellaneous expenses. And then if you're putting down 3.5 and you're a first or your FHA buyer, you're looking at 28.22. So if you live in one unit, you're pretty much having your mortgage covered, which is a pretty decent deal. So let's throw in all of the uh, multifamilies in Medford. I know one came back on the market on Cherry Street, which is a multifamily. Um, where is it? 36 Cherry Street. It's a two family for 349. And this is a property that will probably go again quickly. I'm not sure why it fell apart, but it's bank owned and something that we could uh, get in there fairly easily. I think that's something you should take into consideration. So let's see here. We have 19 properties. Average asking 462 and days on market 230. What went under agreement was one at 329 and it was an anomaly because it took 514 days, but it was that converted two family. And then what sold, we got one at 440 and that took 49 days, significantly less than the 230. So that was a little bit more of a desirable product because it was priced correctly. They may have needed work, but you saw the numbers I ran for making it work and it does appear that it could uh, work for uh, an investor or an owner. So if you have any questions, give me a shout, Ryan at RyanCavino.com.